Hi, my friends. It's time for another five under five challenge. This time it's home decor dupes. I have dupes from Kirkland's, McKenzie Childs, and more. So let's jump right in. I want to duplicate an adorable scarecrow pillow I found on the Kirkland's website. So I have some acrylic paint markers, black paint, brown paint, a Dollar Tree uh, canvas tote bag that I'll be using this side to go ahead and get my scarecrow face painted onto. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my painter's tape to section off my area that I'm gonna paint brown for the hat of my scarecrow. And the picture has it going at a bit of an angle. And I have um, Real Brown by Apple Barrel. This is an indoor-outdoor gloss paint. I will be having this um, as decor on my porch, so this indoor-outdoor paint is just perfect. Next, I take a pencil so I can sketch out the facial features before I use my paint. I found my black fabric paint, so this will be much better than the acrylic paint for the eyes. So I'm going to cut the handles and I'm going to add these fastener dots. I don't have enough polyfill to fill this, so I'm going to use this as a pillow cover and insert a pillow that I already have that's about the same size.
I just love scarecrows for the fall. I was so happy to stumble on this scarecrow pillow on the Kirkland's website. Let me know what do you think of my dupe. I think it came out so adorable. Five Under Five is hosted every month by Missy from the Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and this month's guest host is Christine from DIY Craftaholic. I'll have links to all these talented ladies in the description box. For this decor dupe, I have two Dollar Tree pumpkins that I want to transform into two that I saw online for the Mackenzie Childs website, one with the Royal Check and one with the Flower Market. And I have some air dry clay and silicone molds to add beautiful florals to one of my pumpkins. I've got them down to the bare styrofoam and I've separated all the layers from my napkins. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my Mod Podge. and just work in small sections, getting my napkin adhered to the pumpkin. When you're decoupaging on a rounded object, sometimes it can be easier just to go ahead and cut your napkin into pieces, depending upon what the pattern is, to apply it easier. The plastic wrap helps me to smooth my napkin into the Mod Podge and helps prevent tears from occurring where my finger might get stuck in the Mod Podge and then pull on the napkin. Okay, so for my next pumpkin, I'm going to continue working in small sections. I have cut my napkin into quadrants just to try to help with um, the application. Okay, so these are ready for the next step. So I'm gonna apply clay over the old stems. One of the stems broke off, so I won't be able to, you know, hot glue this piece back in, but it'll go on top. So I'm just gonna take a bit of the air dry clay and try to form it around the top and make just a bit more of a larger, more exaggerated stem.
Okay, my pumpkins are dry and ready for painting. So for my florals, um, the flowers, um, the, the biggest one has a beautiful purple and there's lots of orange and yellow. So um, I want to keep this as close as possible, but I don't want to have so much orange. So I'll have at least one orange flower. For the leaves, I'm going to use green flash. This is a really pretty iridescent green. I'm gonna add pure gold to the stem of both of my pumpkins and then do a top coat of gloss Mod Podge to seal everything in. I did add one more leaf and two more flowers near the stem. Other than that, I tried to keep it as close as possible to the original. I absolutely adore these whimsical pumpkins. The gorgeous colors against the black and white is absolutely beautiful. I love the florals of the second pumpkin. Let me know what do you think of this Mackenzie Childs dupe. Okay, so for this dupe, I will be making a crock. So I have a old candle jar and some um, French labels I printed out uh, from their graphics theory. I will have the link in the description box if you want to print these for yourself at home. And then I have some um, apple barrel antique white. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my apple barrel paint covered um, all over my candle jar here and I have a sponge brush from Dollar Tree. All of my paint is dry and I've already cut out one of my labels and I printed these on the um, tissue paper because it it's easier when you Mod Podge because it's thinner. So I think that will be fine like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use my satin Mod Podge. And just do it a little bit at a time.
so I ended up covering everything totally in the satin mod podge and there is a high risk when you're using tissue paper that there can be some wrinkling but I think that just adds to more of an aged look and I didn't want to really pull on the paper too much because I didn't want it to rip so I've added just some beautiful shabby looking roses here just to add to the effect. I love this look. It can be shabby chic, French country, a beautiful like antique farmhouse look. And I think it turned out just beautifully. For this DIY, I'll be duplicating Mackenzie Childs pillar candles. Um, I saw some on the website that were just too expensive, like $68 and up per candle. So I have these napkins that I purchased on Amazon and you get 20 napkins for $20. And these are Dollar Tree LED pillar candles. I purchased these before the price hike. So the total for all three of these were $3. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my napkin Mod Podge. I'm gonna use satin. Um, before I get my Mod Podge on though, I'm going to go ahead and separate my napkin because there are multiple layers and then I'm going to cut the gold edge off so when I wrap my napkin around, this golden edge won't be visible. Okay, so just applying just a small amount of Mod Podge using a fan brush so it's not to get over saturated. I worked in small sections and again using the plastic wrap so my tissue wouldn't be ripped. I worked my way all the way around. Once I was finished, I let this sit and dry and once the Mod Podge had thoroughly dried and hardened, then I went back with scissors and I cut the excess napkin off and used a sanding sponge to get the excess napkin off the bottom and then around the top of the faux candle where it looks like it's been melted down so that it would look totally neat and clean. And the final step was to totally seal everything with more satin Mod Podge. So once it dries, it'll have a waxy like effect. And I repeated the same steps on the other two candles. And here's the result. I absolutely love these candles. This is so much more budget friendly than spending $60 and up per candle on the Mackenzie Childs website. Let me know what do you think of these candles. I will additionally link the Amazon seller that I purchased the napkins from in the description box. For this dupe, I have a galvanized planter from Dollar Tree and a galvanized bottle cap hanging plaque. So I want to duplicate a um, scalloped stand that they're selling. Uh, it's $5.99, but I already had these pieces. So um, you can pick these up for $2.50 and duplicate it and customize it however you want. So first I need to remove um, this flowers and garden and I have some 100% acetone um, also from the Dollar Tree to go ahead and get this wording removed.
It looks like these handles were glued on. I'm gonna add a little bit more acetone with a Q-tip and see if I can work them off. minute hole. I'll just add a little hot glue. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and do that to the same side and get that one removed. love the way this turned out and these are pieces i already had in my stash using different types of buckets from the dollar tree you can create scallop stands at varying heights and have a really nice centerpiece i have it styled here just with pumpkins and fall leaves but this could be used year round to create just a really beautiful look in your home And here's a look back at the other dupes from this video. I really hope you got some inspiration and that maybe you'll try some of these dupes. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget the playlist. I'll have a link in the description box along with all of the hosts. God bless you.